Good morning, Vlogmas. Another day without my tripod. <laughs> it's actually uh, 12.30, I don't know why I said the morning. I've been editing Vlogmas all day, doing laundry, and planning out my workout for later. Um, just for the gym, I'm actually on my way to go get a facial. So excited, I'm getting my Hydra facial again. I noticed after I did mine, I think it was in October, my skin was thriving. I would say like two weeks later, the glow was insane. Like all the congestion was just gone from my face. So I booked an appointment this morning and I was able to come in the same day, which was perfect. So I'm gonna go do that and um, maybe grab a coffee while I'm out. I have to actually return something at the mall while I'm there. And I figured I would take you guys with me to do errands. Tell me how you do that. Rudolph, Rudolph. Struggling to get in the car, you guys. I just stopped and got a sugar cookie latte. Need a little bit of a caffeine boost. Tell me why. I feel like this is my second time coming to this place to get um, Hydra Facial. It looks like more stuff came out of my skin than it did the first round. And it was the same girl that did me the last time. So she remembered. <laughs> just great memory, by the way. We're just chopping it up. So I feel really refreshed after getting my facial. It didn't take too long. It's 2.13. Um, and I did everything I needed to do at the mall while I was here. Um, she said I could still work out, which is fine. Um, she said don't put makeup on for two days, but I'm going to see my little friends. So I'm going to go put a little something on my face. I don't recommend. Don't be like me, you guys. <laughs> don't do that. Um, I really don't feel like going to Trader Joe's. I just want to go home and beat this traffic that I might be stuck in. Um, and make my way back home because I want to eat something too before I work out. Sorry, that was in the frame. But I do have to say, like, the malls aren't crazy like they used to be pre-everything going on. So it is a little bit nicer and I don't mind it as much. But still, like, I'm really not trying to be all up in the mall like that. So I just thought I would take you guys along with me and show you my Hydra facial. And we were just, like, chopping it up about my experience and how I liked the first Round and she says that you will start to see results usually within like one week to three weeks and that's exactly what I felt like I saw like after I came in and got it like three weeks later my skin looked incredible and I see why because after that like vacuum thing it sucks out all of the blackheads the whiteheads the sebum the oil the dead skin the makeup the buildup all that stuff so I, I realized like my skin loves this and it's nice I almost think I like it better than chemical peels they're very different services um, and obviously I still have hyperpigmentation I'm trying to work through but when it comes to glowiness smooth texture um, getting rid of inflammation I absolutely recommend Hydra facials for anyone like myself watching this video and I just get at Sephora $75 I tipped her $11 or $18 I don't know it was like 15% or something. So it's not bad. And it's 30 minute service. Um, if you have a good person that you like to go to, highly recommend. Um, I only found out about it because Beverly did my first, my very first one. And I was like, wow, I like this. I can do this. So I don't mind it. They can have my little some five dollars. Why am I so awkward? You guys, why did my makeup go on so nice? If you have to go somewhere and you just want to look refreshed, go get a Hydra Facial. Like, my skin was so supple. I think that's the best way I can describe it. Like, plump, hydrated, moisturized, smooth, no texture. Like, muy bien. So, I'm on my way to the gym right now. I don't know why I put this big old hoodie on. I'm already sweating. So... I brought a long sleeve. I think I'm going to put this on and wear it to the gym. And tell me why it's December. And I've just been running around these streets. No jacket. No jacket. 50 degrees today. Um, <laughs> so I just be risking my life. Honestly. And then I mixed my pre-workout. 
I'm in traffic, so I feel like I can vlog. This is pre-workout mixed with a scoop of, okay, a rounded scoop of pre, because I'm low-key tired, even though I had that coffee. So, a heaping scoop of pre-workout, and then a scoop of my Crea 8 from EHP Labs, which is my creatine. And let me tell you, the booty pump is on a poppin'. And I didn't even go to the gym and do legs yesterday. I skipped gym yesterday if you guys saw that vlog and took a rest day which is fine so i feel like i can lift pretty heavy today so i'm looking forward to having a nice pump post gym today so i just thought i would check in and let you know that i'm going to the gym <laughs> finally i just brushed my teeth so it doesn't taste good not terrible you gotta put the ice in there okay so I'm gonna enjoy this um, and get in a really good workout I might train oh I was gonna say upper body but well I guess I could I'm not wearing my favorite sports bra for upper Look, I literally plan my outfits around what workouts I'm doing, and I'm wearing really light colored leggings. I don't know if you guys can see. They are squat proof. Um, so, I don't, I don't mind wearing these on leg day, but when I do upper body, I like to have sports bras that are more open so I could really see the muscles, see the gains, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I didn't really come prepared for that. So I guess I'll just go with the flow and see how the gym is, like if it's too busy or whatnot. Also, should I wear glasses today? Sometimes I wear glasses in the gym because it's a blinder for me to help me focus and not worry about everyone else around me and having that gym anxiety because I can't see my peripheral. Like, it, like what? It's not there. Same thing with wearing a hat. You know, it just really helps you have that tunnel vision to focus on you and not everything else around you. So music on, blinders on, and the workout is amazing so try that out if you have gym anxiety like me sometimes if I go to like a new gym that's not my gym like I am today it's a hack okay this kind of a look I'm not gonna lie I'm really not gonna lie to you guys I'm not gonna hold you I keep saying that because Aaliyah's face it's how you know you watch too much YouTube when other people start to rub off on you but that's how life is too when you hang out with someone long enough you start talking like them now I'm just rambling because I'm bored in traffic, so <laughs> I'm not going to waste your time today. I'm not going to have a 30-minute vlogmas. Um, and there's something rolling around in my trunk, so I really want to take this hoodie off. It's hot. I'm sweating. And I don't like to sweat with this, and then I have, like, balls of fuzz on my underpits. You know what I'm saying? This is a Buff Bunny sports bra. It's too small. It's squeezing my tatas. I would definitely say true to size. I am an extra small usually, but in outfully. Oh yeah, this is so much better. If I get cold later, I can just wear my hoodie. Um. Yeah. Not me changing in traffic. Oh, I feel so cute. Not even gonna lie, this was a little too bulky. Not gonna lie, when you wear like a big old hoodie with some tight, tight leggings, it makes your bum look so juicy. And it just, it sits, it's poking. That's the word, it's poking, okay? I got you, I got you. I did not film a single thing. Oh no, not the flashlight. <laughs> no, he did not pull out the light. Anyway, y'all, we went to the gym for like an hour. Bruv. <laughs> went to the gym. I can't feel my thighs. It was longer than an hour? I was on the hour on the treadmill alone. Oh, that's true. My Apple Watch froze. Child, it does not work, so I turned it off. Um, and now we're at Silver Diner, and you guys, they have a lot of gluten-free, vegan, dairy-free options. I got a burger, and we got crab cakes, and you got a burger. 
but they have oat milk pancakes. Listen to this, 40 grams of protein. So catch me coming back here for breakfast, okay? To try that out and give you guys my review as a fit girl, okay, if I would recommend it. Um, and they do a lot of vegan meat substitutes, like a vegan, what was it, like a meatball and mac and cheese. So I wanna try that. I think when the camera turns on, you got a whole different action. <laughs> I don't have an accent though. Relax, it's me. You always say I talk different all the time. You do. When the camera turns on, you start pausing after every two words. You know, it's because I'm working. You know, when it's on, I'm at work. When it's not, I'm chilling. You know? Kind of Montana lifestyle. You okay. know about that? Yeah. I'm dying. Alright, I gotta go. I'll show you guys my burger. And I think the bun is dairy free. I don't know for sure. So these are the crab cakes, you guys. These are dairy free. Thank you. And it has some coleslaw, you know. I gotta try it. Loki, that looks like soup. So for mad cold. No, it's not. Cold. That's not good. I put the lemon on that baby. Do you like tartar sauce? I don't think I've ever had that before. Yo, they put Old Bay on this. It's so good. But the Old Bay was in the fries. Oh. <laughs> no, it's in this. No. I read the description. I don't know, but this is like the best crap cake I've ever had. Minus my dad's. Mostly because it's hard to get them that are dairy free. So, buy that a five star. You want the lemon? Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anything else? Um, no. Thank you.